Welcome guys to another Substance Design tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna see how create this type of a metallic door. It's a basic uh, texture. You can enhance it more once you see how create this. Uh, so let's get started. Here we have our graph. is uh, quite simple okay we're gonna start uh, to see how create the frame door this part we start with a shape node square 0 0.88 then duplicate and put uh, the size to 0 0.78 then do these two nodes uh, blending in in subtract mode to have the, this frame uh, after you take this the wave tree node you search here wave tree this and put the tiling in 12 as you see you, we have this we apply a levels node adjust the levels to have this uh, this pattern and then you grab the second uh, shape node blending with this to have this uh, grid with the frame then we're gonna create a another frame. Take uh, this shape node in a square, size one, full size. Duplicate another square, size zero point nine one. Blending uh, the same subtract mode to have this frame outer. I'm blending with the another frame uh, we have in at linear doge you must be have this final image and then blend with the with the grid and we have this uh, the base of our door okay then grab another square shape node transformation 2d uh, this uh, tweak this uh, tiling mode absolute you set no tiling okay once you position this uh, image this shape blending with this final uh, shape we have blending here and add linear doge okay so this is two sections you must be have at this moment this and this the outside box and the frame at door okay then this final uh, blending node we made we're gonna blend in with the ingots gradient linear 2 node this is and apply transformation to the node and tweak scale down to have this shape duplicate and the same shape put down the final you must be have this image Okay, this is a blending node. It at linear doge. You must be have this, and this blend in add linear doge with this, and the final you must be have the inches in your graph in your node. Sorry. So this is the node we use for the basis for 
texture or door okay we're gonna create the the normal grab a perly noise to note blending with this shape blending uh, the perly noise go in uh, for uh, foreground and this take in the opacity and the background in mean dark opacity 0 0.17 so why we make the purling noise here this is allow us to create uh, some kind of, of variation in the age of our metallic door as you see zero point if you tweak more you apply this in the normal map okay I live in the zero point seventeen you can tweak as you wish apply a normal node open gear intensity twelve you must have this normal okay Then this normal, we're gonna create the keyhole. This take the uh, shape node with the uh, pattern disk and another shape node with the square full size uh, gradient uh, transformation to the node. Sorry, uh, this is zoom shape transformation to denote and make a uh, scale down the same for this with the disk scale down and make you can apply uh, or, uh, for this uh, size little size you can apply a levels for weather contrast and blending in subtract mode these two nodes you must be have this you can apply also a bevel node distance zero you can tweak more as you wish and this go to normal normal map and you must be have this this normal map you wanna normal combine node with this other so you must be have the normal map with this keyhole so this is our final normal map for use once you have the final normal map you must be grab a curvature map put this final normal map in this curvature then apply a levels node and this allows us to create the rust this little rust we see here so grab a BAW spot 2 blending with the levels we create here and max lighting opacity one this you apply a histogram scan histogram scan allows to expose more of this noise and uh, uh, demand on demand as you see this is allows to create this effect from rust as you see yeah. Okay, so I have in 0 0.15, then apply a levels node for better contrast, tweak the values here, remember, uh, these two is more uh, closed, more contrast. Then we have the rust for our door, we're going to start with the color for this. 
we grab a color node with the color of the rose you can pick in some image and the color of your door opacity grab the mask of the rust rust sorry and blending blending in multiply opacity one opacity one sorry then grab a black node a black color node uniform color blending with this rust uh, color and the opacity you have this final mask blending here then another blending node this is for the white spots we metal sometimes have and the opacity you must be have you must be grab the keyhole sorry this this color is for no it's not for the white spot it's for the for the keyhole so uh, you have this normal for the keyhole apply a grayscale conversion to change a grayscale grayscale apply a levels for a uh, flat the grayscale and invert grayscale this grab for the opacity for this and blending with this you must be have uh, this this note this is the rust this is the color for the door and the background for the grid this is the, the keyhole and now we're gonna grab the color of the hole we grab this node you remember this is the keyhole this is the the node for the keyhole keyhole grab these levels and use for the opacity and blending and this is the final uh, albedo map we must be used so we have albedo normal we go for the roughness the roughness map we start with this node these devices remember apply a inverted grayscale blending with a white uniform color and mean darkness mode blending mode mean darkness opacity 0 0.84 you must have this then uh, uh, grab a uh, invert grayscale from this from this last uh, node from the keyhole invert grayscale and blending in multiply opacity 0 0.20 21 uh, multiply opacity 0 0.21 you must be have this then another blending mode blending note sorry and you grab this uh, rust final rust mask blending here in max lighting opacity 1 for the rust and this is our final rawness map and for the metallic is quite simple grab this final invert grayscale from the keyhole blending with the uh, black color in max lighting you must have this final 
metallic and we put the ambient occlusion grab a ambient occlusion node you search here um, search here grab this and you grab this mask final mask remember this is the mask for the most of the texture input here and you can tweak this as you wish I have in spreading 0 0.02 only tweak this and this is the final ambient occlusion map and this is allow us to create uh, this texture if you have uh, questions comments or you want know more how create this texture just leave in the section in the comments below and I hope you like it find useful if you like the video please uh, like comment and share and subscribe see you later bye